Poštovane kolege, zovem se Duško Čirović sa Fakulteta biologije Univerziteta u Beogradu i predstavit ću vam vrste krepelja, lisice u Srbiji. Zbog toga što želim da vam uštedim vreme i zato što je uglavnom kraj simpozijuma mnogo je konfornije za mene, nastavit ću na srpskom da govorim. Red fox is one of the animal with one of the widest aerial and it is widespread everywhere. Uh, we have helped uh, the fox in that. Uh, Ariel is uh, enlarged by the introduction of the territory of Australia and some other parts of the world. Uh, today, Ariel of uh, the fox um, is widespread. Uh, it includes many millions of uh, square kilometers. Uh, and. Uh, it is uh, one of the uh, mammal species uh, adjusted to so many different habitats. Even uh, in half deserts uh, and in deserts uh, in the south of the globe, uh, it can easily be uh, represented by being the most of the urban habitats. Uh, here, uh, the fox is known uh, as one of the inhabitants of the uh, rural habitats, urban and rural, rural habitats. It is a predator in uh, even a very specific ecosystem. Even in Serbia, it is widespread on the whole of the territory. Uh, up to the highest uh, peak um, uh, within Serbia. It is even the most numerous predator, predator species uh, in uh, our hunting areas. It is known as uh, uh, being the host of many ectoparasites, uh, f uh, flies, uh, ticks, uh, and so on. Uh, they uh, do not uh, make uh, uh, significant damages uh, nor health problems, but however, uh, they are very important in the, uh, transporting the uh, infectious agents uh, from animals uh, to humans. Uh, so they uh, they transfer the disease in exotic cycles. According to the Available literal data, so far uh, 12 uh, different uh, species of ticks were found and defined. Uh, three from Dermacenter, uh, four from Hemophysolis, uh, and three from Rifficephalus uh, species. Uh, the aim of our investigation is to um, find the fauna of the ticks uh, in the fox in Serbia, of red foxes and their importance in enzootic cycles. Uh, uh, we collected the ticks uh, from the uh, fox uh, from for the period of uh, less than three years uh, with all the um, red foxes uh, from the legal harvesting mass. Uh, uh, two or three were uh, uh, killed uh, during uh, car accidents. And apart from collecting uh, during these uh, standard procedures, uh, elementary data were included, uh, such as uh, sex, locality, and so on. And we wanted to find alive uh, ticks. Uh, those uh, harvested and dead were from the foxes which were preserved uh, in the deep freeze. Although there were ticks which could survive uh, uh, more than 15 days under minus 18, they were um, uh, preserved in 96% uh, of alcohol. These nine localities in Serbia were included, as the map shows, uh, from uh, very far north to the central part of Serbia. 58 uh, red foxes' uh, bodies were uh, sampled, and uh, we found uh, 70 ticks, uh, 70 individuals on their bodies with the six different um, species. The most uh, 
dominant was uh, uh, the most common found exodus uh, were uh, females uh, and the other species were in less uh, percentage. What is interesting here is that we didn't find more than two different uh, species uh, analyzed because it is a rather small number of uh, uh, samples. Only 58 foxes were collected uh, and analyzed. Uh, on all six localities, uh, we didn't find more than two different uh, species of ticks. Six uh, species uh, uh, belong to the European fauna. And now this is the list of uh, all uh, pathogens uh, found and identified on the red uh, foxes. The list is very explanatory. Uh, the potential of exotic cycles of red foxes and ticks. Um, it uh, dominating is uh, Borrelia, Francisella, Ricacia, and so on. And this all speaks uh, about the risks uh, for the health of humans uh, being affected. Uh, the, the foxes and the ticks uh, uh, which uh, live on them are in uh, uh, transmitting uh, cycles. Uh, uh, and there is a need for a detailed investigation and detection of uh, specific pathogens uh, on the ticks, uh, which we found uh, on red foxes and some other uh, canidas. The results presented today are the beginning of investigation that we started uh, on the wild canidas. Uh, we started doing this uh, on bats. Uh, it is necessary to know the ecology of the ticks being the vectors of uh, zoonosis, and uh, this also includes uh, the knowledge of uh, the hosts uh, on which uh, the ticks uh, live. Uh, it is necessary to know the ecology uh, of all uh, infectious uh, agents uh, being uh, present uh, on wild animals. We investigators are uh, also exposed uh, to zoonosis and parasites. 